Good morning. Um, Y'all were warned. This is this is the look. It's not pretty, but here we are. Um, so this morning I have already done my elliptical workout. That's why I'm all sweaty and my hair is looking so cute. Um, anyway, I thought that I would just show you a few um, exercises that I do with the kettlebell or I do it with weights. I don't always do everything with the kettlebell simply because my I have bad shoulders from working as a CNA for so many years and you know we used to not use lifts and not a good idea. Use your lifts people. Anyway don't be trying to lift people thinking you're muscle woman when you're not. Um, anyway so I'm gonna just show you a few moves uh, that I do and then you know I'll show you a couple modifications to those moves if I think there are any um, do not push yourself if you if you can't you can't um, also you probably should warm up a little bit you know a little light jog something before you do any of these exercises you know you don't want to strain yourself um, I'm not a professional I just go with what works for me. This is not anything that I really know about. I just I'm trying to share my story of real life everyday mom, you know, trying to get things right. Anyway, um let's get to it. Let me show you a few of the moves. Let's see if you can see me back here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to, oh, I forgot my list, hold on. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is just a shoulder press out. And you can do this with a kettlebell if you want. You can just hold it here and press out and press out and press out. And do that, I don't know, 10, 15 times, whatever you feel comfortable with. And here, I'll do it from the side so you can see. Just a chest press out. Um, if you don't want to stand, you can also sit, sit, I'm just going to sit on my coffee table, and uh, press out, and press out. And just, you know, do that however many times you're comfortable with. Take a break, set it down. This is a 10-pound kettlebell. I do have 20, and I have 10-pound weights. You can also use weights. Just pick them up, 5 pounds, 3 pounds, whatever you have. Just use them and press out. And this really does help your shoulders. My shoulders are not good, like I said, but I have improved my range of motion in the last 28 weeks just doing some of these simple exercises. Anyway, um, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is um, called Halo, and you have a kettlebell. And um, like I said, this is 10 pounds. You just come around and back and come around and back. Also, simple helps with the road, the range of motion in your shoulders. And then you switch it up, come back around, come back around. And as I said before, you do that just however many times you're comfortable with. Ten one way, ten the other way. You can increase these as you get stronger and stronger. See, here I'm still winded from that elliptical workout. Um, then there's just something as simple as uh, hammer press curls, which with a kettlebell, you just hang it to the side and then pull up and have it up like this. Hammer grip curls and pull it up and do that on each side, just like this. And do that with it. And then you can also do that with weights. Here's my 10 pound weight. Like I said, fives, tens, whatever, your threes, it doesn't matter. And just bring it up. Bring it up and put your hand further to the front and bring it up. Bring it up. These are all helping with your shoulder range of motion, the muscles all up in here, all through your back. It's all helping those. Anyway, um, another one that I do a lot of is the tricep lifts. Now I do use the weights for this one simply because of my range of motion in my own shoulders. Um, you simply just bring it up like this, come up, and then back. 
And then from there, you do not bring it forward again. You keep it back there. Keep your back straight. Bring it up. Like so. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Just up and then keep going. And increase as your body allows you to. Um, next one, one arm row. Now, you can use weights for this. I tend to use my kettlebell because I use my 20 pound one when I do this. Um, this is my 20 pound kettlebell. You just get a slight bend going here, lean over. I always put this hand on my, on my side. And then you lean over and you just bring it up and bring it up as far as you can. Oh, and you're gonna feel that in your shoulder blades, especially the more weight you use. So you do that, you know, 10 times on one side, 20, whatever you're comfortable with. Switch, and I, I'm just turning just so you can see. And then you just do that, like so. So that's another one. And these are all upper body for today. I'll show you lower body another day. Um, and then there's just the over the shoulder. Now I'm going to use my 10, 10 pound kettlebell for this. Um, take it, flip it up, and then you just bring it up like this over the shoulder, at just as it sounds. And back and forth you go. Anyway, that's, that's what I got on those exercises for you today. Oh, on that over the shoulder, you can also do it with this. And just what I would do if I was modifying it for just a weight, I would bring it right here and I'd take it to the opposite shoulder. And then, oh, I hear my shoulder pop, I'm doing that. But um, just bring it like this and then switch. And that seems to be a little bit harder. I guess because you're just using the one arm, but I guess if you want to challenge, you could do it. Maybe I'd lighten up the weight because this is 10 pounds. I'd probably go with a five or a three on that if I was doing it like that. Um, anyway, so that's what I got to show you for exercises today. Um, oh, I was thinking about when I was on my elliptical, I was thinking about how when I started this 28 weeks ago, um, I was my own worst enemy. Like I would fight myself. I would get on the elliptical and I'd be watching the time and watching the, the miles and thinking, oh my gosh, I'm never going to make it. This is awful. Um, so what I started to do, and this may help you, it would work for an elliptical. It would work for a treadmill. It'd work for a exercise bike, whatever, is I started taking my sweat towel and threw it over like the panel that shows all that information so I couldn't see it and I just would I would go and I'd go and I'd go and then every once in a while you know if I thought it had been a little bit I'd look and you know you go farther than you think in a short amount of time but when you're watching that clock and watching that time and watching the miles it just seems like it's forever and ever and ever and you're never going to get there well you're your own worst enemy so next time you're on that bike or your treadmill or your elliptical put a towel over there blindfold yourself whatever you got to do um and see if you can just kind of listen to your own body and see if your own body can tell you when you're tired without your mind because your mind is going to tell you oh hey you are exhausted you can't do this and your body can go a lot farther than you think it can so anyway i know this is all not professionally done and i'm a hot mess but here we are real life i will see you guys later and hope you have a great saturday we're going to be heading to swimming lessons for ainsley after i get a shower and all that. So anyway, have a great day.